Hello and welcome to the third installment of the Math Basics 101 tutorial series here at Apple Byte. Today we'll be talking about the dock. Down here at the bottom of the screen is the dock, the location for all of your useful application icons as well as commonly used folders and files. The point of the dock is really just to speed up your use on the Mac to get to where you want to go quickly. You can customize what shows down here. So we'll start at the uh, bottom left corner of the dock. As always, like I said, is Finder. Um, and like any of these icons, you click on it, it'll open up the application. Here you have a Finder window, which you can use to navigate, like we talked about before. Um, then moving across, you have Launchpad, which is really a, a way to view your applications. It's a convenient grid system of all the applications that you have on your computer. If you click and drag, you can see the next page if you have multiple pages of applications. And it's just a quick way to see all of your applications in that grid view. So that's Launchpad. Mission Control is useful when you have multiple windows open. Um, so if I have Mail open, and say I have some notes open, um, what you can do with Mission Control is it, it separates each window open and then you can select which one you want to go into and uh, very conveniently helps you navigate through your open applications. Um, and you can scroll along here, you can you have Safari, Mail, like I said, Calendar. Um, these will be different likely on yours. The way you can decide what ends up in your dock, if you have something that you don't want in there, you can click and hold and move out of the dock. And then you'll see, as it says above, remove. You can let go of your mouse, and there you go, it's gone. It's gone from your dock. If you'd like to add something into your dock, uh, open up your finder, go to your applications, and let's say I want to play chess a whole bunch. I play it so much I want it in my dock because I'm a chess fanatic. You click and drag chess icon down to the dock. You'll see the other icons separate to give room, and boom, you got chess on your dock always there, ready for a game. I don't know how to play chess, so I'm gonna close that out. And I, realistically, I'm never gonna play it. So remove that from your dock. Um, and so that's how you control what shows up in your dock. You'll see a break here, a line, which separates your applications on the left. And on the right, it shows your files and your folders. So for example, here I have my downloads folder. Um, I can click on it and it shows some recent downloads. I don't really have any recent downloads, but you can also click this arrow and it'll open up a new finder window and show you what downloads you have in that folder. You can do any kind of folder in there. Let's say I have a new folder that I'd like to put in there for quick access. Boom, there's my untitled folder. It's always there ready to go when I need it, um, but I don't need it. And you will also have any minimized applications down here. So for example, if we have mail open. We want to minimize it with this yellow button here. It goes down to this part of the dock. And then to bring it back up, you just click on it and there's the application. The last part of the dock that's important to note is um, the little dots underneath the icons. In older versions of Mac, it'll be a blue light. In newer versions, it's simply just a dot. But this indicates what application is still technically loaded. It's loaded up in the background. And so, for example, I have Adobe Illustrator here with this dot. So it is technically loaded. I click on this icon, and it's almost as if it was open the entire time. It opens instantly. To fully close out of a program, go to, to up to the name of the program, and then quit. Quit Illustrator. That will fully clear out of the program and you'll see the dot goes away. Now the, the program is fully closed out. It's not taking up any memory of your computer. Um, so your computer can go faster. But the problem is, if I want to open up Illustrator again, it's not instant like it was before. It has to load up, and then we get this dot here below the icon, and then it's loaded up. If you just hit this red button right here, it closes out of the window but the application is still open, as you can see here. I still have Illustrator, the menu options, and the, the dot down here indicates the program is still open. So if I go into Finder, it's still there, click on it, and it's instant access. 
Um, so if your computer is going slow, look for how many of these dots are open because that can contribute to a slow computer. Um, you can use this bar to change the size of the dock that you'd like and uh, there are various other options. So yeah, that's, that's the dock. It's a very useful tool at navigating the Mac efficiently. Go ahead and leave a like below on this video and comment on other videos you'd like to see in this series. And thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next one.